we had the people who brought him from preaching in the Huru Park. They paid for the Huru Park and they were preachers. And so he went back very offended. And, and these were, <coughs> this was not the government, these were preachers? No, the, the government was not there. This was, <laughs> the, were the preachers. And these things happened here in this country. So that spirit that performs miracles among people was offended. When it removed, we started fake miracles. Mm. People started now receiving miracles that were not true. People started pretending they are miracles they are doing, but they were not true. People would come crippled in the church, pretend they have been healed. But this was just a show because the real thing had gone away. So our, our duty as now the organizing committee, because we are all pastors and preachers in that uh, steering committee to bring Benin back, we have now gone to all the pastors in this city of Nairobi, to every corner of Nairobi, because most of these sins were done in Nairobi. Mm. Most of these men of God were hurt here in the city. They had their money taken away. Wow. They built institutions here in Nairobi. They were taken away. Some of them have, uh, uh, bought lard here in Nairobi. And it was taken away and they were blocked from coming back to Kenya. You know, you just have to report mm. that this man is not good. The immigration just blocks him mm. without seeking details. Right. Because the locals are saying he is not I good. I know. And, and they yeah, have that is what happened. Yeah. So most of them would come to Jomo Kenyatta. You find you are blocked. You can't enter. They would spend their whole week. Yeah. Go back very offended speaking very bad things and now we are trying to collect this and that's why we went all around the country and wherever we went to a pastor's fellowship we did not go to the members of the church these people are not offended by members of the church it's the pastors no they were Christians. offended by yeah. men of god like us right so we gathered men of god in 24 locations in this country uh -huh. all of nairobi we went even further we went to kajiado uh, one of the major Man of God was offended there. Mm. The TDJs. He was wow. building some, he was digging, drilling some wells. Holes, right. And he was overcharged 10 times. And hey. he was very angry. <laughs> and he cried there. So that is where we went. And the, the local pastors confessed mm. that we were there when this man of God was crying and saying that his money has been That's taken by sad. force. Mm. Now you can imagine these things. So we went to and gathered pastors everywhere and we told them why Benin is coming back. And they supported us financially. Right. Because we said, you can't call a foreign preacher to say sorry. And he is also bringing his own money to do the crusade. Yeah, so we said, Benin should not bring his money here to do crusades. Of course, there were stories like uh, the government is uh, mm, sponsoring. sponsoring the crusade. Yeah. But we know we are in Kenya. We know the process of sponsoring anything in Kenya from the government. You have to go to parliament. You have to pass a bill. It has to be accepted. <laughs> and then it has to go to the financial committee. The financial committee approves it. But do you see the Kenyan parliament approving a crusade money? It's not possible. <laughs> so the government cannot do that. Uh, and so, yeah, because that has been said. Yeah, That's yeah, true. yeah. And uh, it is excitement. Yeah. Because the team that <laughs> went to look for Ben Hinn and say, sorry for what happened, please come back to our country. The first lady of this republic was, was there. part of that, right. Now even you, when you see the first lady of the republic yeah, right. of Kenya, it feels that like is the government. government. Yeah. <laughs> and that is why they it say like the government. government project, but yeah. there was no minister of finance there. Yeah. <laughs> there was no, no, no minister uh, of uh, whatever. Yeah. It was just a church member. She went there as a member of the church. All right. So it was construed that what? the government mm. this is a delegation from kenya of the government yeah. but there were no ministers there it was not an official thing right. it was a church thing so we went to the pastors and we would tell them what happened and some of them gave us more information mm. uh, in fact we collected more information from them that then we initially knew ah. they told us exactly what happened right. so and so did this this and this happened. I would not mention their names because they have already repented. Yeah. <laughs> and some of them we have uh, faced them personally. Yeah. And they have told us now what we did. We did when we were young like you people. Mm. So now you don't do what we did. Mm. That is one of them. He wow. told me exactly that. <clears throat> don't do what we did. Mm. We wow. are sorry for what we did because we were looking at the money. Mm. What, how we would benefit. 
don't do the same and uh, i will not do the same and and it's good that some of those people can confess right? yeah they confessed yeah yeah some of them even are living in those houses which wow. they grabbed from foreigners the money now it is not wrong so this mm, this corruption you are seeing in the current uh, in the country yeah began in the church ah. then it went to the world wow so the church started corrupting first without anybody knowing we are corrupting then later on the, the the people in the country became now experts at you, this corruption you know what archbishop i am so glad that you say that yes because we we throw stones at everyone including government yeah yet the problem sometimes it's right in the house mm. yeah. it started right spiritually the, yes yeah. and i'm glad that uh, people are now beginning to confess and speak about it and, you know, <sighs> and then turn around i don't know whether you have noted that since those things were done the church went quiet mm. we no longer criticize we no longer say anything <laughs> uh, from the, uh, the late 90s they stopped wow. Wow. because now we also had the same problem mm. yes all right uh, we uh, that is very powerful we don't yeah. have a lot of time okay we need to and we'll allow you to just pray for us yes as we bring this to a close uh, bishop uh, fred when is this happening please uh, this is happening um, this coming week um, on Saturday and Sunday All right. from 3 p.m. at Nyayo National Stadium. Please be there early because uh, we are expecting over 100,000 people for you to get a good seat. Be there early. We have repented. The atmosphere is clear. We have asked God to forgive us and God has heard us. He has forgiven us. We believe when we hold this crusade, the glory of God will come back to this country in Jesus name now on the 26th that is on the Monday yes we have a special impartation service for men of God all right uh, a little registration is required for this so that okay. you can limit the numbers all right but uh, it's purely for the men of God so that that uh, atmosphere for miracles and the grace for doing authentic miracles that Ben Hinkaris can now be transferred mm. to the man of God in Kenya so that even after he leaves we'll be left here performing those miracles that uh, God can do. All right, so this Monday, right? This Friday. Oh, oh, on Friday. On Friday. Friday and, is and, and, 23rd. Wait, wait. On Saturday yes. and Sunday, we have the major crusade. All right, that's 24th and, and 25th. 25th. All right. Now, on the 26th, the following Monday, ah, it is now pastors. for pastors. Only. For the pastors. Yes. I love it. Mm. So, so we want to invite you. Yes, sir. Uh, 24th, 25th. Yes. Mm. This is, uh, I mean... And, and there's a chance that we'll actually have um, a, the, the evening live on KTN, but we'll talk about that. Yes, sir. But uh, please make time. It's three in the afternoon. It's a weekend. You know, come and let's uh, let's just go and uh, and speak on behalf of our nation. Yes, because we we are looking forward to greater things. Yes, for this nation. Yes. All right. So we want to invite you, and we'll be giving you more details. Twenty fourth, twenty fifth, Saturday, Sunday, three p.m. Nyayo National Stadium. Stadium. Correct. That's where you need to to be um there's quite a bit of feedback here before you pray someone says uh, i'm really blessed to have tuned to ktn this morning uh archbishop harrison nganga is one of the great men of god <coughs> who serves in truth and in spirit i tap to his blessings whenever i listen to him i believe kenya is a springboard of revival thank you welcome uh, pastor benny hin may the almighty god help us we need this more great insight may god heal us as a church watching from kisumu glad to listen to the men of god full of wisdom they understand their assignment grace and more grace to them we welcome benny in to with open hearts Thank all right you. that's very good feedback so we want to uh, ask you to pray for us uh, so <coughs> that we can bring this to a close <coughs> okay let's pray father in the name of jesus we want to thank you for the opportunity to be uh, in this program of best sunday I want to remember KTN before your holy presence mm -hmm. to bless all the owners of KTN, the workers of KTN, the employees of KTN, the organizers of th these programs. Lord, we bless them and we pray that this uh, television will become stronger and stronger. Mm -hmm. And even giving us the opportunity to speak about the gospel for those few minutes mm -hmm. is a great privilege, is a great blessing. Mm -hmm. And Lord, we speak peace to this organization. 
we speak financial uh, grace and blessing to this institution and we also speak blessing to this Sunday best program mm -hmm. and everything that is done here yes, and our moderator here in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen, Amen. Amen. And amen. Thank you so much. Thank and you. thank you for the initiative. We look forward to 